Following yesterday's news of Princess Lilibeth's christening, Meghan and Harry also decided to release a new statement defending their decision to use the title princess for their daughter. The Montessai Dukes assure that the king allowed their children to be called royalty back in September last year when there was a private meeting between the Sussexes and Charles during Queen Elizabeth's farewell. It's not yet clear exactly what format or where that meeting took place, but we can guess that the conversation took place amid the announcement of the news that William had become Prince of Wales and Duke of Cornwall, and that his wife and children would share those titles with him. Today's announcement from the Montecito couple said the children's titles have belonged to them by birthright. Since their grandfather became monarch. The matter has long been settled in consultation with Buckingham Palace. Palace sources indicate that Meghan and Harry's children were not previously announced by the palace only because they were waiting for the couple to decide whether they wanted to name their children prince and princess themselves. For their part, Montecito sources claim that Meghan and Harry were very disappointed that the palace did not announce their children as prince and princess as soon as Charles became king. They said they made a statement about the Prince of Wales right away, but they didn't find time for us. And now, finally, it happened in the morning at 9.30 London time, the official website of the royal family managed to update the titles of Archie and Lilibet. This came almost immediately after the Sussex's birthright statements about the titles. And if yesterday some royal fans were left with hints of doubt about the veracity of the news, now Buckingham Palace itself has confirmed the titles of Harry and Meghan's children. Archie and Lilibeth are still sixth and seventh in line to the British throne, but now they are listed not as Mr. Archie and Miss Lilibeth Mintbatten Windsor, but Prince Archie of Sussex and Princess Lilibeth of Sussex. Still, Whatever the relationship between the Sussexes and the palace, kingship ties are of paramount importance in the British monarchy, and to deny his grandchildren the right to the title, the king would have to issue a new patent on letters altering their right to become prince and princess. And Charles did not want to do that.